station that refreshes our trip you won't forget. A park with that and minimum acceptable safety standard that's Place your nurse for adventure and Hey guys, it's Monday, August 22nd. I'm Mary and you're watching GameSpot News. First up, two new PS4 models are meant to be shown in September, but I think one of those models got leaked over the weekend. Sony will be unveiling a new PlayStation 4 standard model in September, alongside a new upgraded PS4, according to a report by the Wall Street Journal. Citing sources familiar with the matter, the report alleges that two new consoles will be introduced in a bid to maintain demand for the PS4. The timing lines up with the PlayStation event Sony had scheduled for September 7th. It also lines up with the fact that in June this year, Sony confirmed that it was working on a more powerful version of the PS4, codenamed Neo. Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Andrew House revealed that the console will feature improved graphics and support 4K resolution. House also confirmed that the console is intended to be sold alongside the standard version of the PS4 at a higher price. Shut up and get to that other console? You got it! Eurogamer reported that it visited the home of a person who claimed to have purchased the console through Gumtree, which is like UK's Craigslist. It looks real! They also made a video of the console booting up. It's been taken down for legal reasons, which I think we all know what that means. But they can't stop us from showing numerous photos of the system from NeoGAF. As expected, it's noticeably smaller than the existing model. It features round corners and PlayStation symbols at the bottom. Ooh, and buttons. Ah, there it is. Feast your eyes. Photos have not been confirmed to be real. Do you live in the Americas? I got some bad news for your wallet. Sony's PlayStation Plus subscription is increasing the price. Sony has announced that PlayStation Plus membership prices will rise to $59.99 for 12 months and $24.99 for 3 months. The price of the monthly plan will remain at $9.99, but who does the monthly plan? The new pricing will go into effect on September 22nd. If you want to read the announcement, it's on the PlayStation blog, where an old post about August's free PlayStation Plus titles were updated with this statement. This marks the first time that PS Plus membership prices will increase in the US and Canada since the launch of the service in 2010. The new pricing reflects the current market conditions while enabling us to continue providing exceptional value to our customers. As a member, that's you. You will continue to enjoy the benefits and features that enable shared experiences, such as online multiplayer, free games, and exclusive discounts. You will also continue to get exclusive benefits, like online game save storage and discounts across the PlayStation Digital Services. You might have missed this before, so I'm going to remind you, Canadian, you don't get out of this either. The prices of the PlayStation Plus subscriptions are also increasing in Canada. The yearly price will be $69.99, Canadian. Three-month subscriptions will cost $29.99, Canadian, and the monthly price will be $11.99, Canadian. What about the other countries? You might be okay. As of yet, the European PlayStation blog hasn't indicated any price increase in Europe. This is probably because there was a price hike in the UK in 2015, and in 2014, Sony raised the price in South Africa, Ukraine, Russia, Turkey, and India. So hopefully you guys are safe for another couple of years. Enjoy your wallet. Remember when we thought we were getting PS4 Fallout 4 mods in June? Well, it's... Mary, it's August. It's August. We're my mods. Bethesda has provided an update on how Fallout 4 mods program is coming along for PS4. And you might not like it. On Twitter, Dellboy6God asked what we were all thinking. Where are those mods? Bethesda marketing executive Pete Hines responded the mods program for PS4 is currently under evaluation, presumably by Sony, and so he cannot provide a release date. On August 1st, Hines said something pretty similar, telling fans on Twitter that Bethesda is working with Sony to release the Fallout 4 mod program on PS4. The process is still under evaluation. As soon as we learn more, we will share news, he said at the time. Official mod support for Fallout 4 was added to the PC version in April. Following a brief beta, the feature came to Xbox One in May, with the plan to run a beta on PS4 and then introduce the features for all users in June. However, serious issues with the PS4 version cropped up, and Bethesda ultimately had to delay the beta program on that platform. As Heinz said in that tweet, there's no ETA for when the mod program will be available on PS4. That sucks. Keep checking back with GameSpot so we can tell you when you can enjoy mods. And that's all I have for you today. Your regularly scheduled host, Jess McDonald, will be back from Fiji tomorrow. So I'll see you guys again some other time. Bye.